Wow, old video. Didn't I see that already on him uh, uh, stopping? Oh, no. I haven't, wa I haven't watched this one. I've just watched a clip. Oh, this one is gonna hurt. The CS2 cheetah problem has gotten goofy. Greetings, I, the War Owl greets you. I'm done playing matchmaking. I'm done playing Premiere until they fix the cheater problem. We just had what I think is one of the dumbest cheating problems in the history of Counter-Strike. Up until just recently, it was possible to enable built-in client-side cheats in Counter-Strike 2 by entering a console command. That's right, Counter-Strike had a Konami code. It was like typing <laughs> in Power Overwhelming into StarCraft or typing Rosebud into The Sims. Imagine paying money for cheats when they're in the game for free. The fact that this was in the game was stupid. I never thought about it like that. Stupid number one. Stupid number two was that once this cheat was discovered, people used it inside of Face It matches, including professional players. Hmm, what do you think is gonna happen? Everybody who got caught using it, Face It handed out a two year ban. Serves them right for cheating. Listen, just because it's easy to cheat doesn't mean it's okay. The two players who got banned. I don't wanna get this discussion going again. Yes, uh, yes. Let, let, yeah. And we're on Eternal Fire's junior team. This I'll is a Turkish silent. team that has gotten prominence recently. They had a really great showing at the Major. And I can have empathy for these kids. They made one stupid decision and they've screwed up their careers. Yeah. Young people are stupid and they do stupid things. Everybody knows this. Everybody's known this since the beginning of time. The entire business model of Face It, the only thing that they have with their pug system is that you can play the game there without people cheating. That's the biggest selling point. Obviously, they're gonna crack down hard for anybody cheating on their platform in any way. It makes perfect sense. It's completely understandable. But beyond the silly yeah. console command cheating scandal, there's a lot more cheaters in high rating premiere matches, way more than there used to be. I think War Owl is a good barometer for problems in Counter-Strike. I'm like Waffle House with natural disasters. If the Waffle House is closed, something is terribly, terribly wrong. Run. I still think Counter-Strike 2 has a lot of potential. You have a built-in long-term play your base that will always come back to the game. It was one of the top five played games on PC in 2023. It beat Valorant, surprisingly. Counter-Strike is the chess of video games, with a gameplay loop that has pretty much been unchanged for decades. I imagine Counter-Strike will be around 20, 30 years from now. Yeah. But the biggest long-term problem that the game has faced since the very beginning, and I've been playing this game 24 years now, it's the cheating. Everybody knows this. How many people have you talked to who have quit the game because of the cheating? I've known a lot. How many of you have convinced your friends to play the game only to come across cheaters and watch them lose all interest immediately i've heard that story a in the early days of counter strike okay, i already had three matches that i was in five seconds and then they stopped at zero colon zero because you have a detected cheater hmm? guys i think it's finally happening real <coughs> is vac life a thing now if 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 you have clips like that if it happens to you like now Vac life starting at zero zero. Put it in the Twitter community. I want to see it, please. No way, this is real. Zeption, can you like? Do you have a shadow play of that or something? Strike and yes, I'm going to back in my day. You. Everything was done through yeah, community support. Thoughts on the possibility that Valve is working on a whole new anti-cheat infrastructure, and that is why they're doing nothing about this. <laughs> You're trying to get me to Waffle, no? That's the that I'm that guy who started like who who said from the beginning that I think un AI anti-cheat is in the working and they are just collecting data no way as you will the og streamers have heard this take probably like 20 times now f over the past year ai you need data all you need is data right no way they're releasing a game worked on a game for four years where already in the predecessor the number one negative about it was oh but there's so many cheaters um no way they didn't consider fixing or approaching um, the cheating problem for that new game, right? 100%. They let the first half a year be a complete shit show. They collect all the demos. They know who's a cheater. They let them cheat. They collect their games. Um, to then... BANG! AI anti-cheat. Suck! Everything fixed. They, they detect a cheater in the first five seconds by their movement. Maybe they let, let them uh, go for one round. BANG! Vuck life pops in. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. This is the last time I will say this tag. Servers and moderators would very quickly ban people for- Any time now. Any time now. It's been how long? Three, three quarters of a year? Give it a, give it a little bit more. Give it a little bit longer. Um, fuck life. I'm telling you, bro. AI anti-cheat.
cheating. It was a problem that players addressed. We self-policed. So for the most part, it rarely ruined your experience. But there were people that kept it hidden, so I'm mostly talking about rage hacks. Once we got matchmaking with Global Offensive, all of a sudden the potential player base that you come in contact with is everybody. And I mean everybody. We can't just kick people out anymore. For a matchmaking system to work, there needs to be a system in place to detect and ban cheating automatically. There is a permanent, ongoing arms race between cheating and cheat detection. Now, it's much easier to write a cheat than it is to detect a cheat. When I went to- Chat, imagine it wouldn't be fixable. Do you think- I'm, I'm thinking about uh, 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 just, just an idea, right? I, I haven't thought about the ethics of it or anything, but imagine what would happen if, if in, in a different universe, what would happen if you give the cheaters a place to f cheat on? You make like a you make like a thing where they can join. Everyone is cheating. Like a face it for cheaters. HVH. Would the people that cheat in Premiere move over there? No, right? Because they want to flex on some people, right? Like I don't know the mental behind a the cheater. They just want to f up people's day, right? And just be oh I'm better. In college for computer science, there were people in my dorm who created a company to sell cheats for Counter-Strike Source. So I've seen this stuff happening right, right down the hall. What I've learned is that someone talented can create a homebrewed cheat that really won't be detected. So the main target of the bans are the widely available paid and free cheats out there, where a lot of people are using the same stuff. Counter-Strike's anti-cheat is called VAC, Valve Anti-Cheat. It doesn't watch someone play and then determine if someone is cheating based on behavior. It only bans based on hard evidence. If it sees something on your computer is messing with the game, and VAC doesn't ban instantly when it detects yeah. something. It waits until a bunch of the same cheats are detected, and then it bans them all at once. This is to help with the cheating arms race. It's to slow down the ability for cheat providers to react to detection, as well as get as many people as they can who would cheat in the ban. Anyway, things have gotten a lot more complicated since I knew about this stuff. I don't understand it anymore on a technical level, but Valve does and with Global Offensive, they came up with many really smart systems to help curve the problem. One of them was called Trust Factor. Now, what Trust Factor does is it looks at your Steam account, how long you've had it, how many games you have, how long you played Counter-Strike, how many people reported you for cheating, and when you play matchmaking, they put accounts with high Trust Factor against other accounts with high Trust Factor and low with low. The idea is that we'd have clean lobbies where you bro, rarely encounter- can we talk about how bad this gameplay is of this cheater? Like, bro, this guy is ass, bro. <laughs> He's using absolutely obvious cheats. How is he so bad? Or cheats. And in my opinion, it worked. Oh in Global my. Offensive, I rarely came across cheating. I know a lot of people are going to disagree, but I think <laughs> most it, people who accuse someone else of cheating, it's because the other... The other hey! <laughs> no! Bro, I would pay to see who's sitting behind that monitor, bro. That has to be like a f like 10-year-old kid or something, no? Who Googled, like, CS2 cheats. <gasps> Nah, bro. It's just better. They got gotcha. you. They got gotcha. you. But one of the negative side effects of Trust Factor is that it destroyed the new player experience. If you're a completely new player, you're going to have a low Trust Factor and you're going to have a bad time. For the game to survive long term, you need new players to have a great experience so that they'll stick around. And you're not going to be able to convince a new player to go download a third party system to yeah. get around the cheats. Yeah. They're going to join the game, they're going to click play the game, and then they're going to have a bad time and they're never going to play it again. To their credit, Valve also came up with a brilliant solution for blatant rage hacks, so like spin bots. They emulated the old ways, ah, the ways of our ancestors, going back to community servers, and created something called Overwatch. Right now, we could really use an Overwatch 2, but maybe call it something different because that name has been ruined. Overwatch was a system where trusted players would review demos of suspected cheaters and decide if they should be banned or not. It was a way to quickly get rid of blatant cheats in between the vac wave. Was it though i remember cheetah interviews we even talked to a cheetah on stream once in a fully like uh, uh, objective way like vice interview style and i swear they said uh, overwatch was broken it, it's just it's how did they do it again it was something like they do something to not even be in the overwatch or something like this or there were bots who looked at like cheetahs who did Overwatch and then they got their case and then they just said, oh yeah, this guy is clear. 
Something like that, no? I remember there was something to it. Valve also created an artificial intelligence cheat detection system called VACnet, which examines demos from every convicted cheater using the Overwatch system, so it's using human decisions as feedback. Let me explain. If I watch a demo of an aimbotter, of yeah. a spinbotter, and I look at that and I go, he's cheating, the AI takes my word for it, as well as the word of a bunch of other people watching the same demo, and then it looks at the demo to learn what an aimbotter looks like. Then it looks at all the other demos out there and it finds aimbotters in the wild and then it feeds those demos back there we go they crashed the server before the game was done so it wouldn't get a report bro <clears throat> and that's how they dodged overwatch into the overwatch system the ai was not banning anybody it was only used to find suspected cheaters and put it back into overwatch so that humans would be the ones making the final decision which i think is very ethical valve yeah. is big on ethics they're good guys but it does there has to be a way with ai to do it no like, I'm not a programmer, but do you know the capture that you always do, chat, when you're trying to prove your, uh, like uh, to the f service that you're not a bot? They change it to those things where you have to identify an animal, have to identify a bridge, and those things are all feeding into AI. Th those are all like, they use that data. It's not just uh, uh, um, to see whether you're a bot or not. They also profit off it heavily um, with millions of millions of inputs, of, of human input that they used to learn their uh, to teach their artificial intelligence that's what i've heard correct me if i'm wrong there has to be a way i don't know how i don't know how overwatch was a great idea you have like legit people going over cases and then they train that eye that way there has to be a way by round five probably way earlier to have like a huge percentage of 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 uh, accuracy to pinpoint a cheater there has to be bro there has to be the way they shoot, the way they, the way they, <sighs> all of the obvious stuff out of it, of course. Magic bullet, of course. Insta. Insta, you know whether that's a cheat or not. The AI. All the stuff out of that, right? The, the spin bottles and everything. But there has to be a way even of a legit cheater to find out quickly using AI. There has to be a way. And also then probably you can connect it as well with inputs like... Whether the, the cheetah is on a friends list of another cheetah or whatever. And like, there has to be a way, like, with some way to optimize it. Has to be. Just do kernel. Kernel wouldn't fix uh, uh, everything. First of all, it's against Valve's philosophy. And as well, you can't just, oh yeah, kernel, and then it's all fixed. Um, it doesn't work like that. You can also cheat on, on face it. Yeah, it's a lot harder and stuff. But once it becomes the main thing, like, people, um, of course, everything, like, it's a cat and mouse game, even kernel. The mouse um, usually wins. Wait, who's the mouse? Is the cheetah the mouse or the or the cat? I don't know. The cheetah wins. <laughs> back to back vac lives. No way. Seconds. Uh, it we loaded into the game for about two seconds. No and way. And it canceled. Yep. Yeah. A vac life at zero zero. I haven't seen that in the history of CS2. Match is ready. It's not installed, it's on a USB. Okay. So oh, what the f Again? Two games in a row. Is this real? Vak Life has detected a cheetah and ended the match. No way. Alright, let me- Wait. Seriously? Another, another <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, actually, are you guys talking to me or- Stream the lobby! Look at his stream the lobby! It, we From when is this? Is this now, or is it old? This could be one of those like old recycled clips or whatever. Is it playable again? <laughs> I think, I don't know. <clears throat> bottom left, date bottom left. Date only shows the building path. So it's like from which update this is. It does, it's April 14th. It says April 14th at the bottom now. That's good. That's what, three days ago? That's like, that's the current build path, I think. I mean, chat, it's Kemper. This guy is like, um, he, he waffles a lot on Twitter. I, I don't think you would do something for like clickbait and stuff. I think that's real. I think that's real. There was an update yesterday. Oh, Habibi, imagine. Oh my god, bro. Nine. 
does unfortunately hold them back a little bit when it comes to dealing with cheaters. When Riot made Valorant to specifically compete with Counter-Strike, they had to solve the biggest problem that Counter-Strike had, yeah. the cheating problem, otherwise nobody was gonna play it. Their solution is Riot Vanguard, which is a very aggressive, very intrusive <laughs> anti-cheat. It uses a kernel mode driver. What does that mean? Well, to simplify, because I am a simple man with a simple mind, their anti-cheat has complete and utter control over your computer. They have the ability to do anything they want with it. They have more control over your computer than you do. If you install a kernel level anti-cheat, your computer is no longer your computer. Here's a truth that's very difficult to accept, especially for people like myself with a tech background. The number of players that Valorant lost by having an intrusive anti-cheat is minuscule compared to the number of players they gained by having a working anti-cheat. True. That's a big point, bro. I think even I, at the end of the day, wouldn't care. At the end of the day, I wouldn't care. I know that Valve cares, though, and, like, we have heard from, like, Richard Lewis um, um, that he said that it's their philosophy, that they don't want to do kind of... Maybe that philosophy changes or changed. Um, I personally wouldn't give a shit. The fact that, bro, Valorant is as well. It's Tencent owned. No, it's a Chinese company, bro. They're, and we watched a video recently. Is Valorant spying on you? And then they said something like... Does the dog want the bone? I mean, it's it's a Chinese-owned company. The the a Vanguard is running even when you're not playing Valorant. It's it's auto starts, um, <laughs> bro. But but at the end of the day, you got a working game. Hmm. And I I I even personally wouldn't care if it goes to China, or whatever. What are they gonna do with it, bro? Like, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not educated enough on the topic, but I personally don't really give a give a. I don't know. For the most part, users... What are they going to do? Target ads to me? Nice, nice. Show me what I want to buy. Huh? Let me know, bro. I'm trying to buy things. Show me what I want to buy. ...do not care about privacy or security. I bet if you asked them, I bet if you said, Hey, do you care about privacy or security? They'd say, Yeah, of course I do. But then you'd say, Hey, put this on your computer, and they'd be like, Ah, okay, I want to play the game. I mean, I did. I also think that if a huge company like Riot did abuse the oh access that they have on your computer and they got caught, that would be GG. All trust yeah. gone, the company would be over, it'd be the stupid thing to do. I don't think that they've done it, but they can, they have the power to. So what about Counter-Strike players? Why? We absolutely care about our privacy and security, we wouldn't put that stuff on no. our computer. Well, no. We have a kernel mode driver that loads on boot. It's called Face It Anti-Cheat, which is run by a third-party company. It's not run by Valve. In every other game, to play the game the way it was meant to be played, you launch the game and you press the play button, and then you play the game. In Counter-Strike, we need to go through a third-party website, download third-party software, and play on third-party servers with a third-party <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is so bad, sorry. It's just, I can't look at this gameplay. ...and third-party servers with a third-party <laughs> rating by Valve. In every other game, to play the <laughs> game the way it was teammates. meant to be played, you launch the game, and you press the play button, and then you play the game. In Counter-Strike, we need to go through a third-party website, download third-party software, <laughs> and play... <laughs> nah. ...play on third-party servers with a third-party rating system. This is a dramatic failure on Valve's part to create an ecosystem to play the game. Valve is as bad at making a matchmaking system as Bethesda is at making a game. They rely on the community to come in afterwards and fix it. Counter-Strike 2 yeah. was a huge opportunity to solve this problem. They should have used it to solve this problem. This entire history lesson, this entire explanation was to provide context to my point. That Counter-Strike 2 should have had a solution to the cheating problem yeah. before launching the game. What a slam dunk that would have been. That should have been and should be the number one priority for the game. If I were in yeah. charge at Valve, I would have poached people from Riot. I would have gone over there and said, hey, you made this nice anti-cheat that works. Come work for us. We have lots. I don't know if I can say it. Let's just say someone like, uh, 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 message. It was a long time ago. I think it's fine. Someone messaged me from a game um, and was like, yo, this game is f Can you like relay, like relay this message to, to, to CS2? They follow you on Twitter. I would love to like work on it. Interesting, bro. I didn't relay it though. I didn't relay it because like it's, 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 it would have been like, uh, it's, it's from a game which uses kernel and it's like, um, they don't want kernel, I thought. I don't know. Mm -mm. And bro, and, like, and this, this was a long time ago. Like I thought, okay, like, bro, Valve has a solution. Like buddy, buddy. They don't release a game after four years without the cheating solution, all right, buddy? They're just gonna release it a little bit later. <laughs> no, it's like half a year later. I, I, that that message, DM happened like half a year ago. Or like, well, oh God, I would have to check. 
Oh, I wish I could say everything. Lots of money. I would have poached people from Face It. Hey, you have experience working with Counter Strike. Come over here. You could have saved CS2. No, no. Because he also went the normal way and uh, like applied and everything. He just wanted to move fast forward. Like, but it, it, bro, they probably saw the email and 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 just said no. You know. Oh, it would be interesting to check in on it again, though. I would love to see what they replied to him. Here and help us out. Or her. <laughs> I would have implemented VACnet with Overwatch at launch, and they can still do this. They can still implement that system. But the game's been out for so long. It's been out for so many months, and we haven't had anything in, in regards to anti-cheat. Normally, yeah. when I make videos like this, I offer my own ideas, my own solution, because I want to be helpful, and I think whining never solves anything. But this is an issue where yeah. I'm completely out of my depth. The people working at Valve are highly talented, self-motivated people with nearly unlimited resources. But what I know to be true. The anti-cheat in CS2 should have been and should still be the number one priority. I've played all those other games. I always come back to Counter-Strike. There's a lot of pretend- I have to say it one more time, bro. Just for the reaction of this video. I just said it like f f one hour ago. I would say it one last time. What makes people cheat is getting cheated on. All right? Every interview that we listen to from cheaters, what is the main reason that turns people into cheaters is when they get cheated on. They get- they play- Competitive, they play their favorite game. They don't want to play Valorant. They don't want to play Call of Duty. They want to play CS. All right? They get cheated on three games in a row. They realize, okay, so this is right now what the game is all about or what? They get mad. They get angry. They get BM'd by the cheater. Oh, you're so bad. They download a cheat and then and, and, and it turns people who wouldn't cheat into cheaters. All right? I'm not saying that this is like, if you say, oh my God, you're crazy. Nine, this is what turns people into cheaters. It's true. Every time we listen to interviews of cheaters, this is what they mention. It's very similar as well with uh, uh, scammers, by the way. Like, I remember t talking to scammers and it's always like, I got scammed, and then they turned into a scammer. Of course, it's not on a similar level, but it is, there is a connection to it. Um, and the cheater one, the percentage is probably way bigger. Um, because it's just a click of a button, you don't turn into a criminal criminal. Like, it's, it's not legally, uh, like, you get into trouble, right? Like with scamming. It's just, it's against the terms of service. It's... For us, it's a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. But for people who who play the game for the first time, they install it. It's a free game, right? They play it with their friends. They have zero hours in CS. They get cheated on two times in a row. What do they do? They either stop the game or they download cheats as well. <clears throat> and right now, we're turning daily so many people hourly into new cheaters. And once you're a cheater, I will say this one last time. As a kid, I was playing GTA San Andreas. You had cheat codes to get your health back, to get a to get a tank for free, or or you use like I don't know, in a story game, all of a sudden you use you use the unlimited money thing or whatever, right? Once you had the taste of that, it's for me as a kid, it was hard to go back. I kept using the tank cheat. I kept using when I was low HP to get my health back up, and I feel like I don't know. Once you have the like oh, the dopamine. I, I, I don't, like, I, I would never cheat in CS, but I could see people who who, um, who don't take the game seriously, all of a sudden they start cheating, they get an ace first second from spawn, I could see some of those kids getting crazy dopamine hits or whatever, and then you go back to, uh, you know, no, you look for the next cheat once uh, your account gets banned or whatever. Valve finds a solution, I think a lot of people that, that turned into cheaters with CS2 will stay cheaters even once there is a solution. Does that make sense? <clears throat> I'm telling you, I, I swear, we will always have the highest amount of cheaters percentage-wise in CS2 that we will have ever had. <clears throat> like because in CSGO, it's, it's, it was a problem, yeah, but right now we're turning so many people into cheaters day by day. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. I don't know how to fix it. I, like, I don't know if there is a game that ever like just got completely stomped um, and died because of cheaters, but it's a cat and mouse game. The cheater is always ahead. <clears throat> but there's nothing like it. It's a game where your character doesn't get better, you get better. Where with the correct application of skill- It's, it's, it's a really almost impossible thing to, to fix. Because the cheater is always ahead. And once there is like a free alternative or whatever, even once there is like an anti-cheat that could be working, there's always a way, there's always a way. <clears throat> I don't know. In cunning, you can always come back and win. The mechanics are smooth and responsive. They reward the better and the smarter player. It's easy to understand, difficult to learn, 
and takes a lifetime to master. I'm not quitting Counter-Strike like a lot of people on the internet have been saying about me. I'm just not gonna play matchmaking or premiere mode until they fix this cheater problem and come up with some kind of a solution to it. I wanted to make this video to get my thoughts on this because a lot of people seem to be saying what they think are my thoughts about it and I wanted to say what actually I think about the thing that I'm saying right now that I'm doing. It's time for the plot twist of the video. If you think this is all exaggerated and that no one's actually cheating and that you just need to get good and- What? Put targets in the sky that only aimbot can shoot, like in Call of Duty, better than nothing. Does Call of Duty put decoys? For cheaters? I feel this is the first time I hear about this. Is that a thing? LOL! <laughs> That's so cool! I mean, but again, it's, it's a cat and mouse game. Then you just like, as a cheater, you just say, okay, um, um, you don't hit the target that doesn't have a, like, full player model surrounding it or whatever. Hmm. Mm -mm. But that's an, in that's interesting, bro. That's interesting. And play better, all the footage- Interesting approach. ...that you have been watching in this video is actually from official Valve matchmaking servers. And everybody that I've shown has not been banned from the game. All of this wow. footage comes from you, players who sent me in the demo. So I know the demos are coming from Steam servers. This is what is happening. This is a snapshot of what matchmaking looks like right now. There will always be cheating in any game and anything that you do in life because the root of the problem is at the core of human nature. Yeah. I don't want to think about all that stuff though. I just want to play some Counter-Strike. Thank you folks very much for watching. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer. I feel like I'm forgetting something. How do you fix this? <gasps> How do you fix this, bro? I swear it's kind of scary, and it's getting more scary by the day. Bro, I would, I would love to see how, uh, what, like, what Valve is talking about daily by daily. Like, they keep seeing, like, these people who have been veterans. This guy has a sticker on the game. Like, they're all making videos about the cheating issue. Daily we see new one, new people quitting, Premiere and everything. How the f*** do you fix this, bro?